More than 56,000 people have signed an online petition asking Amazon to remove a number of controversial T-shirts for sale on its site. The petition says the shirt mocks the severity of suicide. Over the weekend, Amazon removed some, but not all, of the shirts. The petition was started by mental health advocate Mark uh, Hennick, and he joins us now this morning. And good morning to you, Mark. Uh, first of all, tell me how this whole thing started. How did people find out? I mean, obviously these were for sale, but there was a girl in Calgary who started, uh, who first noticed these. Is that right? There was, yeah. A young girl, 14, named Maggie Harder in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, I saw a report uh, about this or late last week. Um, you know, working in the mental health sector, I wasn't exactly surprised by what I saw. You see some, some yeah. challenging things, but it was, it was disgusting. And, and more than that, I mean, not even just being in bad taste or bad humor, it was actually dangerous. So that's when I set up the petition and, and uh, people really caught on fast. Okay. And, and you mentioned dangerous. How so? I mean, it seems like an obvious question, but what can the impact of these shirts be? Well, one of the things in the suicide prevention community that we talk a lot about is that of the suicide contagion, which means that essentially there's a good way and there's a bad way, a right way and a wrong way to talk about suicide. The bad way, the wrong way, uh, can actually trigger people who have had a history of suicidal ideation in the past or suicide attempts in the past to then try again or possibly even to complete suicide again. This has been well documented in the research. Mm -hmm. But then there's also the issue of family members, friends, loved ones who have lost children, parents, uh, others to, to suicide themselves. And to see something in this, if they're going on Amazon to buy something completely unrelated, uh, that could be extremely difficult for them as well. Now, have you heard at all from Amazon about this? No, Amazon's been responding on a case-by-case -case basis via their customer service representatives. Uh, and I understand that they have been apologizing and indicating that they'll be removing the product at that level. Uh, but there's been no official public uh, response from Amazon on this. And there really needs to be. Suicide is a public health problem, so they need to make a public response. You know, and, and, and in a case like this, which seems so obvious, this is always sort of a, a dicey uh, situation or, you know, to even bring up. But there are those who might say, well, you know, we live in a free country. People right. can sell what they want on t-shirts. Yeah, and you know, I've certainly heard this too. They've by far been the minority in this case. But look, this, Jeff, isn't an issue of freedom of speech. We're not talking about some bold statement here to, to um, against some issue or some conscientious objectors. We're talking about uh, a shirt that has an offensive image, offensive text that could be dangerous for people, that it's being sold for no other reason than for profit. Right. So that's yeah. not right, and we can change that. And you have come up with your, uh, a shirt of your own. I Tell have, about yeah. That. And this is the first time uh, we're actually showing it publicly. So one of the more offensive images to me was one of a, a figure sitting back eating popcorn watching somebody hang themselves. For me that's the exact thing that we need to target in suicide prevention. Complacency. Right. Just sitting back and watching it happen because we know that suicide is preventable. So I designed this uh, image instead to, to reimagine that of somebody instead of sitting back eating their popcorn to actually reach out and help that person uh, to stop that person from killing themselves because we Here, can yeah. all do that. And, and you're seeing that now. Yeah, All right. so we said that uh, suicide watch because you're worth watching out for. Everybody is worth watching out for. You don't have to be a doctor or a specialist to stop suicide. Everybody can right. do that. Mark, thanks for coming in this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right.